Good morning, friends. I'm Amy, and I run Alcamilla Hospital and SilentHillCommunity.com. And here I have Harry running around the end area, except, you know, there, there's no boss or anybody there. Also, I was going to make another video with some of the, the other hidden rooms. You know, hidden, unfinished rooms, whatever. Like, there's an unfinished morgue, and, uh... The hospital room where you find the basement map, there's that big oval table. Anyway, I left some things out of the playthrough video. This is this is that area, but in daylight, the end area. But anyway, I, I left out some uh, beta differences in the last video, so I'm going to cover those in this video. I'm just running around here because it looks neat. Also, I wanted to cover the monsters that Rooker666 found. And he just posted some more videos of these, so check out his channel also, Rodolfo Nunez. Uh, we'll put a link uh, in the description for the video. So this is the unfinished morgue. Those are the beds there. And just as you can run around the school and access other rooms with walk-through walls, you can do that with the hospital and certain other areas, too. This is the third floor of nowhere, but in daylight and fog, so it looks different. And this is the, maybe the boiler room, I think. Except you can't see the boiler because of where he's standing. It's sort of uh, invisible to you from that that point of view. And again, I'm just using GameShark walkthrough walls codes to do this. Okay, there, there's that room again. See, that seems to be the boiler. There. Now we can see it. And Ruger666 also did the beta mod, which I linked on the modding page, where you can... Uh, fight against some of the monsters that were in the files but not in the fi not in the final version of the game like the moths which just strike me as kind of cute they're like big pokemon and not really you know intimidating okay here's that room where you find what is it the basement map anyway first floor Akamil hospital okay Or the basement map or the basement key. And there's another room you can get to. Running around the hospital area. And this has... Hmm. Is this where you meet Kaufman? How many doors are there? Not sure. That looks like the table and like a cabinet, and then some sort of bench. I'm not sure. Also, of course, there's the hand-drawn ales, which was turned into Horn Moon Dance. Which reminds me that it ends with tens on um, GitHub. Did like a disco mod <laughs> on, uh, and posted this on Twitter. I put a link to that also to the um, map tool. The other church painting was originally just covered up with this red cloth with the seal on it. And one of these might have been called an amulet or something, but I'm not sure which. So I'm not sure about that. Unknown liquid was... Um, liquid. Unidentifiable. Emblem of Caduceus. Or Caduceus, uh, as you might want to pronounce it, but... It's basically the same thing. And I have some more information on that. Meteoric Iron Ring becomes an 
a, a ring of unknown material, the ring of contract. So originally we knew what it was, and the, the dagger of multiple magi becomes the dagger of Melchior, which is only one magus. Tablet becomes disc, not, not a big deal there. And all of the nowhere keys had, all five of them had different names, so I'm just putting the different ones here. Ifrit, Bahamut, Sphinx, Garuda, Quetzalcoatl, rather than, you know, Phaleg, Bethor, Eritron, etc., which we had in the final game. Konami logo is a little bit skewed there. And this is, again, the Silent Hill 1 OPM demo, OPM 16 demo, which is the earliest, like, official demo version we have. So I just have a side-by-side -side showing the Sybil cutscene, because some of the dialogue has changed. Also, Harry is lifted up a little bit in the final version. And those posts, the vertical posts there, look very shiny in earlier versions, and they decided to, you know, grime them up, make them look rustier in the final. And some of this is just, you know, midway from the original translation from Japanese to the final. And on that note, um, Nora Stevens Heath was interviewed by William Lockwood of Rely on Horror, so you can check that out. She did like the puzzles and things, the translations from the Japanese, and Silent Hill 3, and the unvoiced, you know, Heather's thoughts, and the puzzles, and song lyrics, and things like that. So that was interesting. Because we all know Jay Blau, but she also worked with him. You can check that out. They're just minor details here, you know. Stop versus, you know, hey, wait, stop. And I already noted that you can't interact with some of the things in the, the alleyway because those were added later. The wheelchair and the, the gurney, he won't comment on them. In, in this, I think he, he won't comment on the uh, dead stuff there. I'm starting to get better at this running through that alley again, but not perfect yet. Better than nothing, I guess. And again, depending on regional differences, this could be claw fingers or great children here. Depending whether you have, you know, Japanese, American, or European versions, Australian, and so on. What's going on here? But both the versions I'm comparing here have great children. But just keep in mind that's another potential difference here. The claw fingers in the Japanese version, for example. Okay, Harry and Sybil cutscene. Another difference is that the upholstery of the, the seats is a different color. See, it goes from light to dark. OPM 16, how you feel? OPM 16 is on the left, final on the right, final US version, I should say. Sybil's hair is a bit different, you can see. Slight differences in her, and there's slight camera angle changes, some things left out. Once you get to the huh radio part, you know, there's no huh radio. Which is iconic, so of course they needed to put that in. It's 
Something bizarre is going on. That's all I know. And they were running at different frame rates, so I had some difficulties editing these together, so sorry about that. But most of it's the same from that point in, you know, other than the how you feel. And leaving some things out, rewording things. Like when he's talking to Cheryl, too. There was a camera angle change. To find my daughter, and my daughter, I've got to find her. Have you got a gun? No. Because, of course, American cops would just hand random guys a gun. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, other than that, um, those little, what are they, the little worm things before the, the sandworm boss. Uh, Roger had inserted some of those in random places too. Eventually I'll try to figure out how to do these things, but in the meantime, you know, also the saving loading screens, of course. Pullman Street, Stanley Street, and Wrightwood. Rather than Old Silent Hill, it's Wrightwood. Finney becomes, or rather, Stanley becomes Finney, Pullman becomes Bachman. What's that versus what? Huh, radio. What's going on with that radio? And then the demo ends once the thing comes in. Rooker did a basement, like, chicken monsters, and they kind of look like those but without wings. Police cars originally said Buffalo Traffic Division as opposed to just, you know, police. Uh, there's no Buffalo. Uh, since we're in Silent Hill and not Buffalo, I guess. Okay, so what we have here are those little worms that you see before the you know, sandworm boss. So this is uh, Rooker 666's beta mod. And I'll have links to that. See, that's the only place you normally see them. It's on that body, and you can shoot them. But you don't normally see them elsewhere. That's all. Also, the doctors and nurses had different uh, skins on them. See, he's got like a different face. So that's just another thing that's changed, and also the nurses. The nurses had different jacket colors and hair colors and faces. I think there are a few of each, two or three, at least different character skins here. Also, well, apparently the original gray children were this color and were pretty creepy looking, and they had like very visible faces, you know. Also, Rooker666 found six new monsters that were uh, in the files, but you can't... But, but they weren't actually in the final game, so... You can only see them through um, his images of them, and... Um, also, you can play through them in the beta mod, that's what my, uh, my footage there is from. Also, I restored an old post that was taken from his original post on SilentHillCommunity.com about these enemies. So there's the frog enemy, monkey, butterfly, though it looks like a moth, but they just look like Pokemon to me. 
EI enemy. It looks like a manta ray or something. Snake. Aust. I guess it's an ostrich. Also, there's a here's an image of Ito commenting on these. That he certainly made some of these, but he has nothing to say about it. So he confirms that, you know, he made them. So that's cool. But thanks for watching. I have some new things up on the Etsy and the Silent Hill Tourism brochure should be back in stock soon, among other things like stickers. And you can support the Patreon for as little as $1 a month for previews and things. And um, later, friends.